Gas to get the people, yeah. Get the people, what they want. Come on, come on now. Gas to get the people, yeah. Get the people, what they want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I tea babies and boogie woogies. Ooh, I tea ain't gonna be out here long, but I just had to come make this little short video, yes. I know a lot of y'all saying, yeah, Auntie, he, um, he trying to hug and kiss on him after you said something. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, like he don't watch his auntie. He know he watches his damn auntie. He know he an auntie baby and boogie woogie too. <laughs> yes, he is. They both are. <laughs> He can't help, can't help but to be a uh, auntie baby and boogie boogie. Because, see, auntie talk ish, but she give you good advice all at the same time. Now, I see they over there to her beautiful auntie, the one who 87 years old, you know. Full of energy, beautiful. Blessing from heaven. And, you know... Auntie says she stay by herself. Auntie says she stay by herself and she all there by herself. Now, if that was me, and my auntie keep telling me that she's there alone by herself, while I'm waiting on these people to fix my house, I would just go stay with my auntie by me being a nurse and everything. I just say, well, Auntie, well, I just come and stay with you till my house get ready. Because uh, I know they paying probably over $100 a night for that damn motel. Because these damn motels, they don't got crazy as hell. And, they, and, and man, you ought to see what you get for your money. I just went on a vacation last year for Avon Park. I paid was paying close to $200 a night for a motel was so damn raggedy. Y'all should have seen it. Mm-mm-mm. But you know, Auntie be trying to get hints and stuff because you know, <clears throat> I know that little birds and stuff is waiting on their house and we just gonna continue to wait and uh, see why they get their house. You know, Auntie ain't trying to kick another person down and I hope y'all keep supporting that brother and sister you know to help them get where they at you know cause like I say we ain't no haters over here and I don't teach my auntie babies and boogie boogies to be hater, haters although you know he got habits and stuff and I think that would be the right thing for them to just go on over there and uh, move in with auntie don't y'all think so just go and stay with auntie till they house get ready yeah she already says she over there by herself and by her being a nurse, I know she probably can help Auntie out. See, Auntie, I talk a lot of ish, but sometimes I have good adjusters too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know a lot of y'all probably talking about, oh, hell no, he don't need to live over there. He don't need to live over there. But see, when you that age, you know, when you get that age, <laughs> I'm making a YouTube. When you get that age, you be want company. You know what I'm saying? And you be want people to stay with you because when you go to getting close to 90 and stuff like that, man, in your 80s, you just about, you don't outlive a lot of family members. You don't outlive your best friends. And you know, you just be want somebody to come and stay with you. Because I used to have a girlfriend. She used to go every year and go stay with her grandma. Because mm -hmm, her grandma used to be there all alone. And her at least about twice a year, she'll be gone for like two weeks. The ghost stay by her, you know, stay with her grandma. And her grandma wanted her to move in, but she didn't want to move in with grandma. But, you know, she stayed there and helped out and stuff. You know. Somebody say, well, maybe those little birds need to go on in and, um, you know, hook up with grandma, auntie. Yeah, because Auntie seems like she's a lovely person, you know, for they can save them some money. And then y'all continue to give them their cash out, and, you know, for they can get settled, you know, for they can get settled in their new situation and stuff. Mm-hmm. Auntie ain't going to be trying to uh, talk. I'm not, you know, I'm just saying how I see it. 
you know, mm-hmm, yeah. I think it'll be best for them to move in with Auntie. What y'all think? Is, is this the plan all along? You know, if they just go ahead on and stay with Auntie, you know, save that motel money. I ain't mad at them. <laughs> I know y'all ain't mad at them neither. And I know y'all probably talking, Auntie, now you know. You trying to be funny. You f No, I'm not. Mm -mm, auntie ain't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. auntie ain't trying to be funny, you know. I see they over there, the auntie, you know, and, and auntie keeps saying she there by herself, so maybe they should just go ahead on and and say they self a lot of dough. Move on in with auntie to their, you know, place, to their place get right and stuff, you know. Just because, you know, they got plenty of money. Hell, they ain't poor like auntie. <laughs> auntie ain't got Ooh, I don't get cash outs in <laughs> Okay, that was just a, a suggestion. That's all. That's all. This is the auntie. Auntie just came out here to tell you that the little birds don't make it over there to auntie house. Now, we don't know from there. Y'all can take it and say what you want. I just said what I said, okay? <laughs> I still give the people, yeah. Give the people what they want. Y'all have a good Friday night. Enjoy yourself, okay? Got still give the people, yeah. Auntie, you got some wine. I might take me a glass of wine tonight. Give the people what they want. Come on, come on, y'all. Y'all enjoy life because you're only the old ones. And don't get nothing, no. I love y'all, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.